How's it going guys, JCVP11 here from Dubai and yesterday Microsoft held a conference which was the biggest and the best conference they've ever held in quite a while. And this video we're gonna go over the top 5 things you need to know about what they announced. Starting off on the mobile front, Microsoft introduced 3 new smartphones, namely the Lumia 950, the Lumia 950 XL and the Lumia 550. So starting off with the Lumia 950, it's basically the flagship for this year. It's got a 5.2 inch Quad HD display along with a Snapdragon 808 chipset and 3GB of RAM. We can also expect a 20 megapixel camera at the back of the phone capable of great shots and 4K video. The Lumia 950 XL however is basically an enlarged version of the 950 and it's got a 5.7 inch Quad HD display and the same camera but a Snapdragon 810 chipset versus the Snapdragon 808 on the 950. Both of these phones run Windows 10 Mobile as their operating system and they support Windows Hello, which is a advanced way to recognize faces to unlock your phone. Basically the facial recognition feature on an Android smartphone but better. These phones also have the basic necessities of a 2015 smartphone which include NFC, fast charge and wireless charging. And what differentiates these phones from any other phone in the market is the fact that these phones are now liquid cooled. This is definitely something new and maybe a step in the right direction. But will it pay off? Cost wise, the 950 is priced at $549 for the base variant, while the 950 XL is priced at $649 for the base variant. However, memory isn't that much of a big deal as these phones do come with a micro SD card when they ship in November. Consumers these days are very keen on budget smartphones and the third phone Microsoft announced is a budget smartphone called the Lumia 550. Now this doesn't have top notch specs like the phones I mentioned previously but it has specs to get the job done including a quad core processor and an HD 5 inch display which will cost you $139 and this too will come out in November. Next up, let's talk about Microsoft's answer to smartwatches. The Microsoft Band V2 is the ultimate fitness tracker which has a lot of different types of sensors and a barometer which tracks data straight onto your Windows 10 device. It's got a curved OLED display which is reinforced with Gorilla Glass and some aluminium sides to make it very sturdy in build quality. What's more is that it's got support for third party stores like Subway, Uber or Starbucks and it could be fierce competition for other smartwatches but we'll truly find out when it comes out on October the 30th priced at $249. Now let's take a deep breath and move out of reality into virtual reality. Over the past Microsoft has demoed HoloLens and this time they announced a dev kit for HoloLens which will cost you $3000. The VR kit will be available starting Q1 next year and those people who actually want to go get one are urged to register as registration starts today. Microsoft have also promised that the usability of this headset will be top notch as there will be no wires connecting to devices externally and it's going to be an untethered experience when it comes out at Q1 as long as the application is installed straight onto the kit. Jump back into the real world and we're looking at the fourth announcement from Microsoft which was the Tablet Surface Pro 4. This time around they've opted for a 12.3 inch screen and they've managed to keep the dimensions of the tablet exactly the same because of the fact that they've shrunk down the bezels. The tablet comes with 1TB of storage and 16GB of RAM along with the included Microsoft Surface Pen. And yes, they did take a few jabs at the Apple Pencil and they said that the Surface Pro is more of a choice for professionals out there. But I'm not sure about that. But to truly find out we'll have to wait until the end of October when the tablet comes out for a price tag of $899. And lastly the biggest announcement that Microsoft made that got the world buzzing and talking was the Microsoft Surface Book. This is the first laptop from Microsoft and comes in at 13.5 inches and has a beautifully crafted all magnesium alloy design. The screen of this laptop is connected to the dock which is the keyboard using a snake like mechanism which is a first for laptops making this a full sized laptop 
as well as a full-size tablet whenever needed. The dock or the keyboard is better designed and includes a backlit keyboard which allows to make the most out of the typing experience. It's also got two USB 3 ports as well as one HDMI port. Internals of this laptop also look very very solid with a 6th generation i5 or i7 chipset along with the Nvidia GeForce GPU making running tasks a breeze. And of course this piece of hardware will also be available at the end of October although it is available for pre-order starting today for $1499. Honestly a very very solid announcement from Microsoft and I'm looking forward to trying all of these products very soon. But anyways that has been it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful a like rating would be appreciated as always and make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section down below about the new devices Microsoft announced. Do you think they're gonna start becoming successful again or is it gonna be the same story all over again? Let me know in the comments down below but as always thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, adios.